guys. So Alex has been showing you what he's been doing um, as far as work here uh, on Maui. And I've been pretty bad about showing or filming uh, my side of things. So back home, I'm a yoga teacher. I teach at two yoga studios and a CrossFit gym. And basically I just shut down in the winter and I tell wherever I'm working that we're gonna be moving. And then I say like, hopefully, you'll hire me back when I come back. In the past, it's worked out pretty well. Uh, both of the studios that I taught at uh, before we went to Spain hired me back when I came back to Tacoma. I did lose a job at a gym, but I found another one, so it all worked out. Before we left for Maui, I started reaching out to yoga studios and gyms. Um, I like to not only teach at those places, but usually they allow you to take classes for free. So. I try to teach at a CrossFit gym and at a yoga studio so that I can do both of those things. Um, so I didn't have a lot of luck. Like no one was like, oh yeah, you're hired. Um, but three places did respond and said like, oh, we'd love to meet you when you get here. So the first place that I went was a yoga studio in Wailuku. Um, they were super nice, but it just, didn't seem like the owner was really interested in hiring more people. They do a teacher training there, and I think they just finished a teacher training, so they basically already had like a stockpile of yoga teachers and didn't need more. So then I went to a CrossFit gym that was also in Wailuku, pretty close to our house, well, close, relatively close, like 25 minutes away as opposed to 35. And they were really nice, but we got here before Christmas and uh, just with like the madness of people's schedules during the holiday, they wanted to wait and kind of check in with people and then talk after the holidays. In the meantime, I started going to another CrossFit gym, Aloha CrossFit in Kahului, and the owner there, Jimmy, was super cool and he was like, sure, we'll figure something out, like just start coming to the gym and we can set up a class or do whatever. So he wanted me to teach a trial class. We decided that we should just call it stretching for CrossFitters because it's really hard to get CrossFitters to do yoga. So you have to like trick them into it. <laughs> um, he wanted me to do that on Sunday at 8 a.m., which is really early for me. But I showed up and I'm like looking around and there's no Jimmy. So he totally forgot about it. Um, so I didn't teach that. And the next time I saw him, I was like, hey, what if instead of teaching yoga, because he didn't seem that into it, I just take photos as a trade for the gym instead. And he was into that. So I took photos a couple times when I was doing class there and then got to go to the gym for free. In the meantime, I started going to a new yoga studio called Soul Asana. I thought it was Soul Asana and Soul Asana. Amy, the owner, told me that yesterday. I've been saying it wrong. Whoops. Anyway, so I went to check out Soul Asana and they have a 30 days for $30 thing. So I signed up for that and started taking classes there. One of the first classes I took was a class by Amy, the owner, at noon on Fridays. And I just like connected with her. She's seriously one of the nicest people that I've ever met, like just genuinely kind. And she was one of the studios that I had emailed back and forth. And she, she remembered me and she was like, oh, like let's set up a trial class right away. Like you seem awesome. I like your energy. Like let's do this, um, which was a pleasant surprise. Um, so then I taught uh, a trial class there and it went really well. And they don't offer a lot of power classes or intermediate or advanced classes there. And she was like, let's get you on the schedule. So I started teaching there on Wednesdays at four o'clock. And then almost immediately she was like, hey, we should add in another class. And so in a couple weeks, I'll be starting on Sundays also. After I got offered the second class at Seoul Asana, Alex found a Craigslist ad uh, wanting a yoga teacher up in Pukalani, which is upcountry. country. So I reached out and responded to that ad and they were like, yes, we would love to have you come and audition. So I went and taught a trial class.
Okay, so I just got to the studio. I'm about 10 minutes early, which is not surprising. I like to be early, always. It's raining, so I'm gonna make a run for it and run in and hopefully they'll be cool with me kind of showing you the studio and then I'll try to get a time lapse of the class if they're into it. So, here we go. So I just finished my audition class. They were not into me filming at all. She was like, um, no, not today. I tried to film when I was going in there and they were like not into it. So, <laughs> um, but the class went okay. It was like a half hour class that I taught to the owner and two other yoga teachers which is always a little nerve wracking teaching to a bunch of teachers, but it went well and they offered me a class and I was like sending them paperwork, like my insurance and all that stuff. And then I was like, oh yeah, I should ask about pay because that's obviously a thing. Um, so they responded and the pay was like really low. I haven't taught for that little since I had zero teaching experience. Um, and the studio is also 45 minutes away from our house. So we did the math and it equaled about like $8 an hour, which is not like counting gas to get there and stuff like that. So I decided that, that it wasn't quite worth it for me to um, take that job. You know, it would be like over three hours of work and it just didn't seem like I should go in that direction. And I was like kind of upset about it because I was excited to be teaching more. And then, I don't know, the universe just like has a funny way of working. And just yesterday, Amy offered me another class at uh, Soul Asana. So I'll be teaching a yoga foundations there on Friday night. So now I'll have three classes. And that studio is a lot closer. It's right next to Whole Foods where we go almost every day. <laughs> so I took that job and I'm now just teaching at the one studio. I had a friend um, or a student from one of my old yoga studios back home who is now a yoga teacher and she actually reached out to me and asked about like how to get jobs and I think the lesson that I've learned is that you just have to put yourself out there like you have to be comfortable like cold calling yoga studios and just like knowing your worth and going into places or emailing them like shamelessly and being like, hey, like I believe in what I do and I want to teach yoga. Um, and then maybe not taking jobs that don't feel right. You know, I like to listen to my intuition and I usually like discuss what jobs I'm going to take or not take with Alex and with friends and family if I feel like I need more guidance. Um, my biggest advice to yoga teachers on getting work is just putting yourself out there. I think going to the yoga studios and taking classes, as many classes as you can and introducing yourself and just being out there and being a friendly person, I think that works well. Like just showing up and putting in the work and then the rest kind of follows. So yeah. I'm happy to have found some work here. That way Alex isn't carrying all the weight on his shoulders. <laughs> I think it's important to keep trying and keep looking for different places. I found my yoga home <laughs> at Soul Asana and I think if you go to a studio and you don't like it or you don't like the teachers or the type of yoga that they, they teach there, just keep trying. Like go to different not only different classes, but try out different teachers and uh, different studios and just find where you feel comfortable because I'm sure it's out there. There's a ton of yoga on Maui and most cities, most places, there's a lot of different studios and styles and teachers. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe. Let me know if you have questions or if there's other things that you wanna know that I missed. Um, I would love to share that with you guys, so thank you. Bye. Stupid, I know. But please, subscribe.